paddling adventures are made so much better when we can enjoy them with our four-footed best friends. With our dogs aboard, we can all enjoy an exhilarating and enriching day on the water, paddling, swimming, and having fun. In this video, we will show you how to work with your dog from the ground up yeah. to ensure that they love boating with you. I'm Chelsea with Positive Futures Dog Training and Behavior. We are so happy that you chose us to learn how to improve your dog-friendly adventures. In order to begin, you'll need some high-value treats and a clicker. With a treat to her nose, I guide Lucy towards the boat. As she gets two feet and finally four feet inside, I click and deliver the treat. Then I lure her out of the boat, clicking and treating her for four feet back on the ground. If your dog is worried at all about the boat and shies away or is reluctant to follow the food, reward smaller steps. You can click and treat your dog for looking at the boat, taking one step, taking two, and even sniffing the boat. You will also want to make sure that you're using your leg or a free hand to stabilize the boat. Any added motion as your dog gets in and out could increase your dog's worry about the boat. As your dog gets more comfortable and confident, Interacting with the boat will get easier and easier. Once you can easily get your dog in and out, I put it on a verbal cue. I use the cue in and use a hand signal to guide her, clicking and treating all four feet inside the boat. Then I cue out and give her a hand signal to help her get out, clicking and treating her for exiting the boat. I repeat this process until the behavior is on a verbal cue and I can see that Lucy's confidently getting in and out of the boat. Having in and out on cue begins the process of teaching her that the boat is a good place to be, but it also comes in handy as we give our dogs signals on when they can get in and out for swim time. Once Lucy is confident jumping in and out, we begin to add some duration inside the boat. In order for her to be able to join us paddling, she needs to be able to maintain stillness for long periods of time. I ask her to get into the boat and then I cue her to sit. I click and treat the behavior. Then I begin adding a little bit of time between each click and treat. So she maintains the position for longer and longer. So I cue sit, count to three, click and treat, count to five, click and treat. Each time she does well, I add two more seconds of time. After a few successful repetitions, I release her from the boat for a break before we begin repeating the process again. You will want to take your time here building good duration. As you can see, this does require some patience. This is best done when your dog has already had some exercise and mental stimulation. A short walk where they have a chance to sniff and even some warm up repetitions of attention and sit can help reduce their excess energy and get them focused. After their needs have been met, working on adding duration will be easier and less frustrating for them. After you've added some duration, you'll want to begin to practice reinforcement and duration with you in the canoe. I carefully get into the boat and sit on my seat in front of Lucy. This will be where she is and where I am while we are on the water together. I repeat the same process of asking her to get into the boat and rewarding duration. As you can see, she eventually chooses to lay down. This is great. A down is easier for her to maintain long term and it shows me how relaxed and confident she is inside the canoe. Both sits and downs are good behavior for our dogs to rehearse while we're in the boat because it keeps them stationary and decreases the likelihood of them rocking or tipping the boat. And finally, the last piece of structured training that we need is adding motion. While we are in the water, the boat will be moving and rocking with the water motion and waves. We don't want the first time on the water to be a surprise. So while we reward duration, I also begin to add the distraction of rocking the boat a little. With small shifts in my body weight, the boat moves a little underneath her. I click and treat her for maintaining position with the motion. When adding in some of the motion, we want the rocking to be so subtle that our dogs can maintain position. If your dog changes positions or stress signals or tries to get out of the boat during this stage, it means we're moving too quickly. Try going back to adding duration without any rocking motion at all. When your dog is confident and reliable with maintaining position, you can slowly reintroduce the boat motion. By taking your time and practicing with your dog, you can teach your dog to love your canoe or kayak. This way you have a paddle buddy for life. If you enjoyed this video and you're looking for more tips and tutorials on adventuring with your dog, 
be sure to hit subscribe and check out our Adventure Dog playlist made just for you. Happy paddling!